Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I set up my Hutu wireless IP camera so that I can view it remotely. So essentially I just need a web browser. It could be any web browser, Safari, Firefox, Chrome, even on, on a tablet if, if need be. And just for this video, I'm going to demonstrate it on a Macintosh computer running Safari. So I'm going to enter this push server mode here. And what I really want to access is the network side. And go into basic network settings. So the default for this is that the obtain IP from DHCP server, this box is checked. So I'm going to uncheck this box. And here I'm going to specify a static IP address, an IP address that every time it's plugged into my network, it will always use this IP address. So it will be consistent. So I will always be able to find it. So I'm going to just make one up right now. That one, that one eighty. Hmm, let's put 81. Then for subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. So for subnet mask, it really depends on your router. For my router, it's these sets of numbers. Same, same thing for the gateway. Then for DNS server, 68.1.1. And I'm going to just leave the port 80, leave that alone, and hit submit. So it's going to reboot, it takes about 30 seconds. Once it reboots, almost likely just need to manually refresh this page. The countdown reached zero seconds, nothing happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the browser, reopen it. Okay, now finally the page came back up. So even though the countdown was 30 seconds, from my network at least, I had to wait about almost a minute. So put in my user ID and password. I'm going to sign back in again, head to network, basic network settings, just to verify that what I entered previously is saved. Now this is the next piece. I'm just going to enter my router. So for my router, on my router at least, I'm using a Verizon Files router. And I just need to go to port forwarding. So for mine, it's under the firewall and there's a port forwarding here. And I just need to create a new rule here. So different routers call this differently. Essentially you're creating a port that where outside traffic can now be redirected to a specific device on your network. Some routers call it pinhole, um, some call it triggering, tunneling, it's, the concept is still the same. So I'm gonna specify IP address. 192.168.1.81, which is the IP I just gave to my IP camera. And I'm going to, for this router, I need to go to the bands. So I'm going to choose custom ports. Destination port. I'm going to specify hmm, 8090. And I'm going to specify a, spe a specific port for two. So this is port 80. So what this means is outside traffic coming into my network that's on port 8090 will be redirected to the, this IP camera which is currently listening on port 80. A lot of times some, some folks might just leave this as 80 because it's simpler but when you're going to have more than one IP camera it's, it's not like you can go 80 and then 81. 81 is used by something else already. So when you're in a four digit world it's uh, less less of a chance that this port is being utilized. So I'm going to give this one 8090. So next time, if I have another IP camera, I'll just call that one 8091. And hit add. OK. So back to the Hutu. So the Hutu also offers a DDNS service. So if you don't want to use there, Manufactured domain, you can use one from DYN DNS or no IP. I've used no IP and DYN DNS for years. Uh, just for simplicity, I'm just going to use the manufacturer's domain address. Each of these are unique per IP camera. So I'm just open up another tab in my browser. I'm paste that address in here, but I'm going to put a colon 
8090 to re represent that port forwarding rule I just created earlier. I'm going to hit enter. So now, going from the outside network, coming into my home network, it's reached the Hutu. So log in here. And voila, everything's working. I have full access. It's my TV room. Okay, well, it's very simple. It took just mere minutes to set this up. And it's all possible because my broadband company, uh, Verizon, in my area, they did, they did not block this. I understand that some broadbands out there, uh, ISP providers, they do block port forwarding. They either block it, they want you to upgrade your equipment, or they want you to pay an extra fee per month. So hopefully, it's none of the above for you guys. And it's just as simple as what I just demonstrated. All right, if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster.